And it's time to start looking at things for what they are instead of just believing these lies. And all these other fake guru people out here with all their fake positivity, we have got to be real. That's one of the biggest problems too. Everybody's fake. Everything is fucking fake. The people are fake. The sky is fake with all the barium, aluminum, strontium, mylar fibers, and chaff. Metallic nanoparticulates. The water is fake with all the disinfectant byproducts, algicides, cobalts, hexafluorosilicic acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, chlorine, chloramines, algicides, pharmaceuticals, runoff, inorganic calcium, and lime that will make you stiffer than a coral reef. Everything is fake. The garbage bullshit on the television is fake. The clothing is now fake with all the polyester. All you're wearing plastic, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you wear bisphenol A. You're wearing estrogen mimickers and hormone disruptors. And you wonder why you don't feel good. <laughs> the food is fake. Most of the food on the market, ladies and gentlemen, is hybridized, genetically engineered. It's not organic. The produce was fed water that was filled full of the contaminants in your tap water, the chlorine, the algicides, the stuff we just listed, the tap water. Your food is filled full of pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, larvicides. Oh, but I eat organic. Have you ever looked at how organic food is, is produced? It's an absolute joke. A lot of the livestock is injected with growth hormones, ladies and gentlemen, in a series of vaccinations and this, that, and the other. The experts are fake. They are towing the line for an agenda. Not all of them, but many of them. The Hollywood garbage is fake. It's like, it blows my mind that more of you guys have not been able to see this. So taking the red pill in essence is you unplugging from all this nonsense, but in order for you to do that, you have to have your common sense, but you don't have that. So getting your common sense back is step number one. How do we do that? Well, we've gone over a large list of things that you can do to get your common sense back, folks. I'm not gonna go into a huge rant about that in this video. Once you get your common sense back, you'll be able to see that culture is not your friend, that we live in the culture of death, that we live in a purgatory of sorts, just like the Gnostics warned us about hundreds of years ago. We live in a purgatory of sorts, ladies and gentlemen. We live in a hell realm. And once you realize this, you'll see the importance of not resonating with the qualities of this world. But there's a good chance that will frighten the living hell out of you if you actually do get your common sense back enough to see the world for what it is. Most people would rather be like Cypher in the Matrix and just plug back in. Becoming conscious, actually unplugging and repositioning your assemblage point does not come without a lot of burden. It does not come, ladies and gentlemen with a get out of jail free card. In fact, it makes your life much worse. It makes your life much more difficult. Every, the, everything is wrong. What we've been taught is wrong. The world is, we are like in the upside down realm. I swear to Christ, it's like we are constantly moving in and out of alternate dimensions. This world is now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a domination system. It's a satanic system.